This is the message that Jesus gave Paul to preach. And did he preach it? Yes, he did. He testifies to that in verse 19. He's speaking to King Agrippa, and he says, I was not disobedient to the vision from heaven. And then verse 20, I preached that they should repent and turn to God and prove their repentance by their deeds. Paul says we need to do three things. Repent, turn to God, and prove your repentance by your deeds. Now, when it comes to sharing Jesus with people, when it comes to evangelism, talking with people about Jesus, we often ask them a question like this. We might say, have you placed your faith in Jesus? Have you trusted Jesus to forgive you for your sins? Now, that's not a bad question, as long as it's not our first question. Let's start with the question Jesus asked and the question Paul asked. In fact, let me ask you, have you repented? Have your eyes been opened to the darkness that surrounds you? Have your eyes been opened to the darkness that fills you? Have you turned away from that darkness? Have you personally renounced the power of Satan in your life? Have you turned to God? Have you repented? If so, prove it. Prove it. This is what Paul says in verse 20. Talk is cheap. You say that you've repented. Prove it. Prove your repentance by your deeds. What evidence can you offer me that you have genuinely repented? What evidence is there in the way you spend your time or your money? What evidence is there in the way you treat your spouse or your children or your parents? What evidence is there in the way that you talk about other people? What evidence is there in the way you talk to God? What evidence of your repentance is there in the way that you respond to God's word? What evidence can you offer me that you have genuinely repented? Now, I want to say something extremely important. Please don't miss this. Listen very carefully to what I am not saying. I am not talking about earning our salvation. I'm not talking about earning our salvation. That would be nonsense. Because if you still think that you can be good enough to save yourself, then your eyes have not yet been opened. If you still think that you can earn your own salvation, then you have not yet seen the darkness in your own heart. If you still think that you can clean yourself up and work hard enough to achieve merit with God, then you have no idea how dark the darkness really is. You see, Jesus did not say, Jesus did not say to turn from sin to perfection. He said to turn from sin to the Savior. Jesus did not say to turn from the power of Satan to your own willpower. He said to turn from the power of Satan to God. Why? Because quite simply, God's the only one who can save you. God is the only one who can save you, but you're the only one who can turn around. Did you hear that? Jesus Christ is the only one who can rescue you from your sin, but you're the only one who can turn around. So have you turned around? Have you repented? Can you prove it? Now perhaps you've come here today, and when you came here, you thought you were a Christian, 
but now this is new. You've not heard this kind of teaching before. Maybe the person who shared the gospel with you only told you half of it. I would not be surprised. Perhaps you were told that all you have to do is believe in Jesus and you'll be saved. Maybe someone told you that all you have to do is ask Jesus to forgive you and then you'll go to heaven. But as I said, that is only half of the gospel. And so it is functionally a false gospel. And false gospels produce false converts and false converts worship a false God. So let me ask you, is it possible that you are a false convert? Could you perhaps be a false convert? Have you believed only half of the gospel? More importantly, are you willing to obey the other half? Are you willing to repent? Do you see the darkness that surrounds your life? Do you see the darkness in your own heart? Are you willing to turn away from that darkness? Are you ready to turn from the power of Satan to God? Are you ready to repent? This is the gospel according to Paul. This is the gospel according to Jesus. Again, we must do two things, not one, two. Repent and believe. Turn and follow. Repent. Turn to God. Improve your repentance by your deeds. And then believe. Place your trust in the person and the work of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And then prove your faith by following Jesus in humble obedience. So let me ask you one last time. Do you love Jesus? Prove it. Do you trust Jesus? Prove it. Are you currently following Jesus Christ? then prove it. Have you repented of your sin? Have you turned away from sin and darkness and turned to God? Prove it. Prove your repentance by your deeds. Amen.